a precisely trim WAV file to self-clock the BitBox Micro. First thing you need to do is create a one bar loop in your DAW, precisely cut to one bar at 60 BPM. You're gonna want four PPQN, which is four pulses per quarter note using a trig or a gate signal. Once you have that file, load it into a pad. You can see all of my gate signals there. Now I have to go in and tell this pad to toggle. So once I tap it, it will start and it will stop once I tap it again. We need it to loop. So loop that forward and it will sound like this. I can start and stop it as I please. You can see this white patch cable. This is gonna be how we're gonna clock it. So I have out six patched into in eight. So that means we have to go into this pad and set the output to be six. And then go into the tools menu and set input eight to be clock. Let's check the outputs. Output six is output six. Now watch the top left corner. As soon as I tap this pad, it will begin to clock to 60 BPM. Now I can go and use the pitch to change the tempo. Watch the top left corner, it will speed up. And I can slow back down. I use this website because it has a handy calculator that lets me enter the BPM I started at, the BPM I want to end at, and then use the precise amount of pitch to achieve that BPM. This allows you to use the BitBox Micro by itself to create and capture loops.